Okay, hello guys, welcome back again. Welcome back again to the channel. I'm A Not. I've been away for a bit longer. I mean, the, with the gameplays and all, but I am back here again with more. I mean, with some new gameplay over here. There is getting over it. Everybody knows that this is like a rage game, the rage game of the year, or the day, or the month, I don't know, but this is a rage game, and yeah, uh, I've been hearing a lot of this, so I started playing this a few weeks ago, and I've been getting good at it, but I haven't yet finished it. You'd be surprised at how long it took me to get to a certain level, but anyways, let's just do it. Uh, this would be different from other rage gameplays because one I am not I'm not the, quite the rager and I got actually really good at this game you know oh shoot okay okay let me just lean in a bit closer and okay there go oh no okay that's good I think okay so yeah what I liked about this game is it's no actually more intense than starting over you deleted your homework the day before it was due as I it's actually very relaxing for me and oh yeah I forgot about this uh this guy commentating or something if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped your food on if you want an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view starting over is harder than starting up go away and come back Okay, so it's All right. Thanks for coming just from the start. Today. There. What the fuck are you saying, man? Just okay. So I'm actually Don't worry. kind of raging right now because of the I'm irritable because of this commentating of the guy. Okay, fuck. Okay, let's just listen for him for a while, and I'm just gonna stop talking because. B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B-game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength to get through them, once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context, and once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. 
In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash, but only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. Fuck yeah. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, <laughs> infinite, and unsorted. Oh no. There's 3D models of records, Gen X's fanfic novels, scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned stuff scenes on live leaks. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye mm -hmm. and Taylor Swift mashups. Car crash, epic failed chips, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled. My okay, is it done now? Oh, thank fucking God. The fucking. Talking is done now, huh? Huh? That's good. Okay, so let's. Get on with the real gameplay here, bro. To this, just to just swing your mouse full fucking circle, like as wide as you can, like that, that way. The physics of the game would not be. Compromised. Oh my god. Okay, so back here again. There we go. Okay, there we go. Fuck you, I always do in that. Okay, so catapult my way up there and then grab this wheelbarrow here. Grab that, grab that. Full wide circles. Okay. There's a kid there. It's kinda creepy because I'm thought I'm the only one human here. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding if See it just that? gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things? Fucking awesome, eh? Okay, so this one, okay. Every part of here you need, like, a technique or something. That's when games were new, they wanted a lot from you. Daunting you, taunting you, resetting and delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle. Some tricks for the clicks Whoa. of the feckless. But that's not you. Say so. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So that was some precision shit right there. Sit there. Okay. So I'm gonna go up this couch. Up another now I know. couch. Okay. Most likely you're okay. watching chair, this chair, on chair. YouTube or no. Twitch. While I'm some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. The fuck, right? Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, what the fuck was that? Still in the running, I'm still in the running, baby. I'm still in the running, baby. Mmm. Mmm, I can't get out. Don't wanna go down there again because that. What? Oi! 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 What the fuck? Oi! If I can just get up that couch, we're gonna end this episode. No! Oof! Sorry about that. Thank you guys for watching! You know... You know what to do, guys! Darp!